क्वेश्चन नंबर वन स्टडी दट क्वेश्चन केयरफुली लाइट ट्रेवल्स थ्रू ए ग्लास प्लेट ऑफ थिकनेस टी हियर इज ए ग्लास प्लेट एंड द थिकनेस ऑफ द ग्लास प्लेट इज टी एंड इट्स रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ही gives it as a mu if c is the velocity of light in the vacuum time taken by the light to travel this thickness is see look it is very easy question light is incident i is the angle of incidence it get refracted you know finally it emerges it is very simple question he is taking what is that what is his what is the time taken to travel from here to here we shall call it as capital t now you know the basic definition of the refractive index your absolute refractive index is c by v and uh, c and v is the velocity in this medium velocity is given by the distance divided by the the time velocity is equal to distance divided by the time here the distance is t and the time is capital t therefore your mu is equal to C into capital T by small t. Here small t is the thickness. He is asking for the what is the value of the capital T? There is a time taken to move from here to here. Your answer is mu t divided by C. You search for this one. Look in that the alternative is found to be the answer is found to be A. A is the answer for this one. Sometimes this problem will be asked. like you know how sometimes they will ask they say refractive index of the glass is 1.5 time take that is they say that the thickness is equal to something around that is 2 cm 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 they ask 1.5 into 2 is 3 3 3 get cancelled and if it comes to the numerator it is 10 to the power of 8 and it's minus 2 that comes out to be minus 10 seconds sometimes you will get this kind of questions also remember of course for this question number 1 your answer is this sometimes you put some number for these things then also you calculate this those question would appear for your examination now we shall come to the question number 2 as i have told that when you are in cet you should not be satisfied only with the few question and answers you should think if this question is asked in some other way how to answer all these things look at the second question the time taken by the ray of light to travel through a, a glass of thickness 2 cm and the refractive index 1.5 will be so look this is the same thing here has the same thing and your this formula is equal to its mu t by c what he has said calculate the time taken and he has said the refractive index is 1.5 and the thickness is 2 cm that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 and then the refractive index he has said velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 same thing which i solved there that is this to get cancelled and it is 10 to the power of minus 10 seconds that's all so you must be in a position to answer these questions and look at the answer there answer is going to be the c is the answer for this one so this c is the answer so very important thing these are all now we come to the question number 3 the question is a monochromatic light from a to glass whose refractive index n is refracted the ratio of the wavelength of light wavelength of incident light to the refracted wave will be look how simple it is he said a monochromatic light is passing from air to glass this is the one whose refractive index is n the ratio of the wavelength of the light is look refractive index as you know can be given by the formula it's the velocity of light in the air divided by velocity of light in the medium it is absolute refractive index you know the formula that uh, v is equal to f lambda you apply here this is f lambda in air and this is f lambda in medium you know that you remember very very important thing a light passes from one medium to the other medium frequency does not change 
This question will be asked always. Remember, very, very important thing. The frequency, frequency does not change as a light propagate from one medium to the other medium so that I can cancel it. Therefore, your n is equal to. So, what is the, the value there? So, therefore, he says, your n is equal to lambda a by lambda medium. Look at the question. Ratio of the wavelength of the incident light to the refracted wave is this is a one. And then your answer is lambda a is to lambda m is equal to n is to one. What is the answer there? Your answer is C. Very important. See, you need not do any calculation here. You have to readjust. Here, what are the concepts? If you ask me, sir, what is the concept here? Important concept is that here is an absolute refractive index. When light passes from A to another medium, it is called absolute refractive index. And you know that V is equal to F lambda. Here, C means it is also a velocity F lambda. FF get cancelled. Therefore, it is lambda A by lambda M. Therefore, what he has asked, ratio the wavelength in A to the wavelength in medium, take the ratio, so it is N is to 1. Therefore, your answer is C. 1. Electric field strength E due to a short dipole at a distance R from it are related as. See, this question is about relation between electric intensity at a point due to dipole and the distance. You know, dipole is nothing but combination of two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance. All the distances we are going to measure from the center of the dipole. Now, he is talking about electric intensity due to dipole on the axis or on the bisector. You can find the intensity either on the axis or on the bisector. See, this is called bisector. This is called axis. Let me take this point. Somewhere here, let intensity is Ea. Somewhere here, let intensity is Eb. Okay. Intensity on the axis is given by P. P stands for dipole moment divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R cube. Whole thing multiplied by 2. Or you can put 2 inside, 2P. Whereas, here on the bisector, it is just P by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R cube. So, this is half of Ea. Now, see both the equations. Whether you take the point on the axis or on the bisector, intensity is inversely proportional to R cube. Therefore, you can write E proportional to 1 by R cube or proportional to R to the power of 1 mi minus 3. Therefore, answer is C. Question number 2. Question number 2 goes like this. Ratio of the force between two charges in vacuum at a certain distance. See, when he says vacuum, it can be even free space also. At a certain distance apart, to that between the same charges, the same distance apart in a medium of permittivity epsilon. So, in this question, he is talking about the ratio between the two forces. As I told in the beginning, force in the medium proportional to 1 by epsilon naught, force in the medium or air, it is proportional to 1 by epsilon naught, force in the medium proportional to 1 by epsilon. Now, you take the ratio of these two, that is Fa divided by Fm, it is going to be, that is Fa divided by Fm is proportional to epsilon by epsilon naught. Therefore, answer is it is epsilon naught, uh, sorry, Fa by epsilon, epsilon by epsilon naught. Look at the options. There is epsilon naught e to epsilon. Okay. But this is epsilon by epsilon naught. Therefore, you can go for none of the above. Option D is the answer. Question number 3. Question number 3. <laughs> Two balls carrying charges plus 8 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb attract each other. Of course, they must attract because they are opposite charges with certain force F. So, plus 8 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb, the force of attraction is F. Let us take this as initial force. Now, let us see what he says. 
if a charge of minus 3 micro coulomb is added to both then force between them see when you add charge charge is a scalar quantity so it obeys simple addition and subtraction rule so you are adding minus 3 to plus 8 so what is the total value 8 minus 3 becomes 5 micro so 8 micro which was initial becomes 5 micro now next second charge minus 5 minus 3 it is nothing but minus 8 a simple addition and subtraction rules now you look at the final charges again it is 5 and 8 but earlier it was plus 8 now it is minus 8 earlier it was minus 5 now it is plus 5 earlier also it was a opposite charge combination now also it is opposite charge combination magnitude same and combination is same therefore force must be same and he tells distance is not varied at all he is not at all talking anything about the distance therefore now also force is f so you can go with option b let's move on to the next question number four fourth question a point charge a of four micro coulomb see whenever a question is given better you write the data with appropriate notations like charge a when he says charge a you call it as q a okay notations are very important and summarize the data simultaneously while reading the question itself you summarize the data like uh, see he says charge is 4 micro coulomb if it is plus 4 micro coulomb don't put plus 1 so it's just waste of time time is very precious q a and another point charge B is minus 1 micro. Now you can put minus 1 micro. So this is second charge. Are separated by 1 meter apart. So if possible, draw the diagram simultaneously. Okay, diagrams are very important. 1 meter distance. Now the distance of the point on the line joining the charges. And from the charge B where where the resultant electric field is zero is try to understand the question you have to find a point on the line the two from b where the total intensity is zero so this problem is about null point you know what is null point null point is a point where total intensity is zero this null point lies between the two charges, if they both are like charges, remember, null point is between them, if they both are like charges, both plus plus or minus minus. If the charges are unlike in this case, where is the null point? It will be outside. Outside means where sir? Either this side or this side. Remember, null point is very close to charge of lesser magnitude. Lesser magnitude means? 4 and 1. 1 is small, therefore the null point must be towards B. So based on this, let us mark a null point somewhere here at a distance of X. Now we shall find X. We know this to this distance is 1. At P, EA is equal to EB. This is the condition for null point. Intensity due to A must be equal to intensity of B. So that Ea plus Eb is equal to 0. Now Ea 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Qa divided by total distance that is 1 plus x whole square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Qb divided by x square. See in future problems I simply avoid 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught I simply write it as k and this is use uh, accepted uh, notation. Simplify, QA divided by 1 plus X whole square is equal to QB divided by X square and find out the value of X. How? Substitute for QA that is 4 micro divided by 1 plus X whole square is equal to QB 1 micro divided by X square. So one doubt may arise. Sir, QB is actually minus, but you are writing only 1, not minus sign. Why? Not necessary because I am not talking about the direction. Direction I have already decided. As I have taken directions into account. I am talking only about magnitude. Then you can go ahead. 
if you want to do it in the form of vector then you must write this as vector ea plus vector eb equal to 0 then the ne negative sign you have to consider but anyway this will also do simplify micro cancel square root you have to take when you take square root of 4 it becomes 2 divided by 1 plus x is equal to 1 by x simplify 2x is equal to 1 plus x or x is equal to 1 meter so x is equal to 1 meter is option d so that's all so here what you have to remember two things number one condition for null point ea plus eb equal to 0 athwa ea is equal to eb second thing where the null point is null point will be between the two charges in the case of like charges outside in the case of unlike charges but that is